Um, I saw, uh, I, it's, I, mo- I moved into Hong Kong uh, in uh, February 2019. So I missed uh, an exhibition that uh, HK Walls and House of Vans uh, did in the city. And they did uh, very gnarly, I'm going to just edit it in, uh, in the video, um, description of you, invoking a relationship with corrupt politicians and uh, venereal diseases and diarrhea, and explosive diarrhea. Do you think that that exhibition could have taken place in 2024 Hong Kong? Um, I think that bio probably would have been edited. (laughs) 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 Um, Probably not. (laughs) It probably wouldn't have been published that way. I know things th- things have been changed uh, have have been let's say getting a little bit different uh, more and more different um what w- let's say what do you do what do you what do you consider yourself do you consider yourself more a graffiti artist uh, more a, a, a tagger um, more even let's say a um a vigilante <laughs> a vandal <laughs> How do you, how do you see what you do? How, how do you describe what you do? Yeah, I mean, mostly it's just kind of nonsense. Like it's just like it's an outlet. It's a way to like have a little bit of fun. Um, uh, it's not really not graffiti in the sense like maybe like to the common person you would call it graffiti, but it's more vandalism. It's more even towards street art, I guess. To like graffiti is about letters and style and it's insulting to call what I do graffiti to the graffiti writers probably so. Yeah, for sure. I think it's it's something else. But let me push back a little bit, uh, because I want to let's say I, I I think that you hold yourself in lower uh, with lower talent that you that you have because you 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 did do things that were graffiti in the past, uh, and nowadays you you write um, phrases. Maybe it's not graffiti now. Maybe it's more like street poetry or something like this, or a street irony. <laughs> but you know, also, also, if you, if you, uh, people talk about Pablo Picasso, uh, and uh, at the beginning, some, 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 yeah, some people might find hard to understand that we call him, we call him a master uh, by looking at the later pieces. But you need to look at the first pieces to understand what the what the later pieces come. Um, in uh, in this in these new ones, where. Do you prepare the phrases in advance? Uh, how does that happen? Because obviously, I've seen, I've seen how I s- let's say I, I, Im- I imagine the moment in which you know you see a bunch of a bunch of trash and you write something next to it and you and you and you plug uh, an arrow. Uh, so that's obviously improvising. But man, w- the other ones, do you think about them a long time? Do you bring them prepared? Uh. Yeah, oftentimes, yeah, they 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 they're, they're, they come to me just randomly. Um, I'll write them down, and then I'll yeah. Usually they start as stickers, um, and then if I yeah, but yeah, I write them down. I have like a you know, list in the phone of like <laughs> try to remind myself what what I was thinking about that night, and like build on that, and like yeah, I, I do think about it in advance sometimes.